This Confiatex 2023 event coverage is brought to you by Cooler Master, MSI, Tim Group, Aurus, FSP, Clev, Montec, and Lian Li. To learn more about our sponsors, visit the links in the video description. Hey, what's up guys? Action here. And finally, we're here at Taiwan for Computex 2023. So, nandito nga pala kami sa MSI booth. So, iniuunahin namin. So, huge shout out kay MSI for sponsoring nga pala this video kasi isa po sila nag-sponsor para makapunta po kami dito sa Computex. So, try guys, simulan natin yung mga latest products ni MSI. Papakita namin yung mga bago nilang release. So, let's go! Hi guys! So, I'm here with the Project Zero ni MSI. So, a concept na build na yung motherboard doesn't have a connector. Pakikita nyo yan? Wala po siyang connector, guys. Misha, nasa nila nilagay? Nilipat po nila sa likod. Okay, yung purpose nun is para malinis tingnan or para hindi kayo mahirapan for a cable management. Nakita nyo, meron sample build dito. Ayan. So, malinis tingnan, di ba? Wala kayo makikita mga nakaluwet na 24 pin. And check this out. Oh, di ba? So, sobrang linis guys. Lahat is nasa likod yung connectors niya. It's a concept lang uh, with the case. Siyempre, pag gagawa ka ng ganun nasa likod yung connector, yung case na to, kailangan gumawa ka rin na compatible para sa feature na yon. So, yun yung sample build niya, guys. Project Zero ni MSI. Nga pala guys, uh, this is a AMB build. Ayan. So, this is a B650 na chipset. I think uh, gagawa pa sila. You know, interested yung mga tao dito. So let me know then uh, dun sa description ng uh, if you're interested dito sa mga ganitong uh, connectors sa likod, di ba? For me, okay sa akin to kasi tamad na ako mag cable management ngayon. So, yun yung uh, Project Zero ni MSI. Okay, for storage solution and syempre, nilaunch nila yung PCIe Gen 5 na storage M.2 NVMe. So, titingnan natin ngayon yung product na nilaunch nila. So, first in line guys, with the Spatium M570 Pro PCIe 5.0 NVMe M.2 with Frozer Plus technology. Ang taba ng heatsink guys. Of course, grabe ang speed nito. Sobrang bilis. Read and write speed up to 12,000, 10,000 megabytes per second. Wow, grabe. Ang bilis. And available sa capacity, 1 terabyte to 4 terabyte. Ayan. So, napapansin nyo, ang laki, diba? Ang tangkad pala. So, imagine guys, ito yung M.2 drive nyo. Tingin yung itinaas. Grabe, diba? So, ang maganda dito, it has a active cooling. So, this is the Torx Fan 5.0 na. So, active cooling yan. So, meron siyang fan. Ito, mag-spin lang siya pag, uh, kunwari, ginagamit na yung storage. Like, nagka-copy kayo ng file, yung mga ganun. Yan. So, mag-spin na yan. Pero pag uh, hindi siya ginagamit, mag-stop yan. So, malalaman natin kung tahimik to mag-operate. Yan. Check natin, may naka-display din dun eh. Okay, sabi dito guys, with active airflow, reducing temperatures by up to 30 degrees Celsius. So, next naman. So, this is the Spatium. M570 Pro PCI 5.0 NVMe M.2 Frozer. Ito yung sumunod. Ito naman is walang active cooling. So, passive lang siya. So, dito, uh, same lang. So, umabot din siya ng 12,000 and 10,000 megabytes read and write speed respectively yan, guys. Available din yung capacity 1 terabyte to 4 terabytes. So, yeah. Dito naman, so, tinanggal natin yung active cooling. So, 20 degrees Celsius lang. Okay, yung nare-reduce na temps uh, for this one. Pero, mas matangkad pala yung heatsink nito. Tama ba? compare dito. O nga, mas matangkad yung heatsink. So, mas kina pala nila and dinamihan ng ano. Yung kasi, yung isa is ito dalawang heat pipe. Ito isa lang. Pero with cooling. So, next. Uh, this is the Spatium M570. So, ito naman. This is for, actually, this is Gen 5 din. Pero, manipis lang. Pero, na-reduce yung speed niya. So, 10,000, 10,000 for the read and write speed. So, malit lang. So, capacity is 1 tera to 2 tera. So, nothing special here kasi, syempre, it's Gen 5, di ba? Parang usual na nakikita akong M.2 na heatsink sa mga Gen 4. So, this, mga available na to sa Philippine market. Kasi Gen 4 lang naman to eh. So, check this setup, guys, uh, with a PCIe card. Tapos, nakalagay yung dalawang M.2 drive. 
equipped with the yung bago na lang Spatium M570. So dalawa yan. I think this is configured to RAID 0. Check nyo yung read and ride speed. Grabe. Ang bilis nito guys. Kung creator kayo or you know, uh, nag e edit kayo ng video, large files, 4K, 8K, magagamit or may utilize ito. Itong feature na to grabe. Ang tulin, no? 22,000. Grabe. So, combine yun, guys. Ha? Combine sa ano, kasi RAID 0 yung config dito. That's 22,000 megabytes per second. So, ito naman with the Spatium M570 Pro. So, single lang yun. Ah, ito yung active fan. So, umabot lang naman siya. Grabe. 14,500 read and 12,300 write. So, ito yun in action. So, kung napapansin nyo, ito yung active cooling. Ngayon pa lang, from where I stand, hindi ko narinig yung fan speed. Siyempre, maingay sa surrounding ko. Uh, mas maganda sana kung sa loob ng kwarto ko ito testing. Pero, taga, lalapit ako guys. Ha? Wala, hindi ko rinig guys. Hindi ko rinig yung pag-spin ng ano. Ayan o. Oh. Nag spin yun, no? So, hindi ko rin eh. Grabe, ang ganda. Nice, nice, nice. Tahimik. Ito yung itsura ng mga heatsink ng Spatium M570. Uh, yung sa active cooling and the passive cooling. So, yung nakakita nyo, guys. Pag naka-disassemble na po sila. Part by part. So, yan. Closer look natin. Yan. Grabe yung heatsink, no? Yung tataba. Ayan, with Torx 5.0 Ayan, yun yung hindi maingay na pag-spin ka Kasi na-expect ko na maingay But nagulat ako guys na hindi siya maingay Lalo na pag maliit yung fan, di ba? Good job MSI So okay guys, ito naman yung cable na I think ilalabas nila So actually, itong power supply na to is out na in the market Ngayon, may bago lang silang iteration So itong cable na to is nakikita na meron siyang yellow tip Bakit Christian? Para saan yan? Pag uh, sinuksok mo siya Ayan, kunwari, first time builder ka at hindi mo alam na hindi pa pala siya properly connected, di ba? Kasi nakikita po yung yellow, di ba? Yun yung marker nyo, guys. Na pagka yung yellow na part na yan, o yung color na yan, dapat hindi kita yan pag kinabit nyo. Yan. So, napansin nyo? So, properly connected na tong uh, PCIe connector na to kasi hindi na natin nakikita yung color yellow. Pag ganyan yung kabit nyo, that means na hindi pa siya properly connected. Okay, this product naman guys is bago rin. So this is for the liquid cooling. So this model is the E240 and this naman is the E360. So this is a 360mm, ito naman is a 240. So features ito is yung narorotate yung block nya. Yan. So for example, yung pagkakamount nyo is nakaganyan. Pwede nyo siyang ma-rotate para hindi baliktad yung logo. So, new product on the MSI coming this Q3 then. So, it features also the ARGB na fan and also the block. And, Christian, nasaan yung pump? Nilagay na nila dito sa mismong block. Yun yung sabi ni MSI. Okay guys, so today naman, I have with me the Gangnir 300P. So, dalawang variant ang nilabas ni MSI dito. So, newly launched ito. Introduce nila sa Computex 2023. So, dalawang version, merong performance, yun yung P, and the R. Yung R is nandun, mamaya, if focus natin. Meron siyang addressable RGB yung R. For the P, so performance fan yung nilagay nila. Pag binili nyo ito, meron na siyang included na GPU support with RGB lighting po yan. Papakinan namin sa inyo mamaya. With adjustable, I think this is 5 adjustable. Kung napapansin nyo yan. Pwede nyo rin ma-adjust right here. Ayan, pwede yan, di ba? Nice. One. Closer look lang guys, kung napapansin nyo, meron siya additional fan dito. So pag binili nyo pala to, does include the 320mm na fan. So hindi kasama yung riser cable daw. Meron din siya additional fan dito, yung mini fan na yan. Kasi para sa nyan. Ang purpose nyan is para mag-cool down pa yung temperature ng SSD and the GPU. So exhaust po yan. So tinesting kasi daw nila is na-reduce daw yung temperature. Also comes with 120 rear. So yun yung Gangnir 300P. So punta naman tayo 
doon sa RGB version. So ito naman yung Gongnir 300R. Meron siyang addressable RGB, yung mga fan nito. So dalawang bar nito sinabi ko kanina. Ito, ito na yung itsura niya. Pagka binili nito, meron siyang GPU support with five levels or modes na adjustment. Pwede kayo sa side na to and also doon sa side na yon. Pwede nyo ma-adjust if ano yung size ng GPU nyo. Nga bala dito guys is tinanggal nila yung mini fan. So wala po itong mini fan. But meron siyang addressable or LED lights sa mga fan. So this is the Gangnir 300R. So new release to ni MSI this Computex 2023. Okay, for the high-end segment naman ng PC chassis. So this is the MEG Prospect 700R. Actually, na-release ito sa market pero hindi ko pa siya nakikita. So it features a touchscreen panel dito sa may front panel na yan. Yung nakikita nyo, touchscreen po yan. Like you can display uh, yung mga parameters. And also, yan, mayroon din mga info about yung sa ARGB nyo, yung sa fan speed. And meron din siyang screen saver. Yan, nice. Pwede rin uh, maset dito on the fly na. So hindi na kagagamit ng software. Pag gusto nyo i-control dito. And also, meron din siyang clock and weather. I think isa-set nyo to sa may software ni MSI. I think sa MSI Center. Pwede rin siya makontrol sa e-vision dashboard. So touchscreen din ito. So you can control, ayan, mayroon siyang visual dito for the yung parameter ng temperature ng CPU sa PCH din for advanced, ayan, pwede kayo sa, oy, pwede rin mag-calculator. So yun yung additional info dito. I think pwede nyo uh, ilagay ito sa gilid uh, ng PC nyo. Ayan. Ang connection nito is ginagamitan ng USB. So kala ko nga header eh. Tinatanong ko niya kung nakakabit sa header yung pala directly na dito sa may USB 2.0 niya na port. So sinokis din yung MSI guys yung mga white components nila. As you can see here from the PSU cooling motherboard. Uh, form factors, mini ITX, and yung mga ATX na motherboard. And also, for the peripherals din. Aside for that guys, inexplain din ni MSI itong device na to. So, it's a PCIe Gen 4 na add-in card. So, ang ginagawa nito guys, it features a USB uh, 4.0 na. Up to 40 gigabytes per second speed. And also, pwede rin kayo mag-charge dito ng 100 power charging port USB C1. Ito yung nakikita nyo. Ayan, nakindikit dito na capable siya ng charging ng 100 watts. Meron ding uh, 27 watts right here. Ayan, nakita nyo 40. Grabe. 40 gigabytes per second yung transfer speed dito. Grabe ang bilis nun. Okay guys, so now, si MSI silently reveal the RTX 4060 na variant na 8G. Ayan. So this is the Ventus 2X na nilabas nila. Actually, nandun rin yung RTX 4060 na gaming X3 o kaso naka, may kable siya hindi ko siya makukuha so ito yung bago nilabas nila for the GPU and also the RTX 4080 na white edition so yun yung sa gaming X3 o so it features the Torx fan 4.0 meron din siyang reinforcing na backplate and of course the zero frozer pagka idle or less load lang yung GPU nyo hindi siya uh, under your fan below 60 degrees Celsius po yan and ito naman yung GeForce RTX 4060 Gaming X 8G Ayan, hindi ko mahugot kanina So yung power requirement niya guys It's only a 6 plus 2 pin Same with the Gaming X 3O So dual slot design as you can see here. So, syempre guys, lahat ng uh, features sa NVIDIA is loaded na po dito. Like the DLSS, Orion DLSS 3, AV1 encode and decode, and yung RTX, syempre, yung 4th generation and yung 3rd generation na Tensor or RT cores. So, syempre guys, hindi magpapaulo si MSI sa mga higher tier na white na GPU. So, nilunch din nila dito yung GeForce RTX 4080 na 8G. So, gaming X3 na white. Last time, nag-build ako ng 47 Ti, pero ngayon nilaunch na nila sa market itong 4080 na 16GB Gaming X3 na white. Ayan. Meron siyang silver or gray finish dito with white. Ayan. Match with RGB uh, illumination right here. And also may kable kasi. Ayan. Yung backlight din is combination ng white and yung silver. Grabe guys, ang bigat po nito. So this section naman guys is naka-display yung bagong gaming gear nila. So na nakakita nyo is naka-tear down po yan from keyboard, mouse, and yung headset. So this is the Viger GK71 na Sonic. Yan po yung tear down na parts nya. And so this is the Clutch GM51 na gaming mouse as you can see. Yan yung tear down nya. 
di ba? So ang ganda tingnan yung pagkaka-display dito. And also this is the Immerse GH70 wireless. Yan po yung tsura niya pag naka-tear down. So pinakita din dito ni MSI yung kanilang mga powered by MSI builds from all segments. Meron ang white PC build as well as yung mga bagong components from the MAG series, which is yung probably their entry-level line. May mga motherboards din. Meron isa na may Wi-Fi 7 support, gaya nitong MAG C790 Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi. And also yung bagong AIO nila, which is yung Mag Core Liquid E240 na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. As well as bagong power supply with PCIe 5 compatibility. Siyempre, we also have new products on the MPG series, gaya nitong dalawang bagong motherboards, which also has support for the new Wi-Fi 7 standard. And another power supply OLED with PCIe 5 support. Of course, sa flagship MEG series din, at yung mga high-end products na aim at enthusiasts na gusto yung best for the builds. Sa boot ng MSI, showcase din nila itong laptop na ito na kung saan may green screen. Pinapakita nila kung gaano ka-smooth ang processing and rendering nito just like kung ano yung ginawa sa mga studios. Ang galing nga eh, real-time rendering siya. So speaking of laptops, marami silang laptops doon. But since they also announced a strategic partnership with Mercedes AMG Motorsport, and as a result, itong laptop na ito, which is the Stealth 16 Mercedes AMG Motorsports variant. Meron din silang pinakitang mga bagong gaming monitors and some pre-built gaming desktops. Pero itong 49-inch Project 491C QD OLED gaming display, yung pumukaw ng attention ko dahil OLED at 240Hz ito. Wala pang sinabing date kung kailan marirelease ito but hopefully very soon. A huge shout out nga pala kay MSI for sponsoring our trip here at Computex Taipei, Taiwan. That's it. So here at MSI booth at Computex 2023. So more Computex uh, coverage. Siyempre, dito lang yan sa Taiwan. <laughs> Computex Taiwan. Anyway guys, bye.